Hi, David, they call me MacGyver. Today I'm gonna to show you how to stop a leaky, freeze-proof faucet. Um, tried to find rebuild kits for it and was unable to. And I actually ended up finding a uh, universal um, Teflon cord that you can actually replace the packing with because you can't buy the kits for all the freeze-proof faucets because you can't get the model numbers off of them. So I went ahead and I had fixed this faucet and after I got it fixed then I decided it might be good to uh, show others how to fix this. So I apologize in advance for the poor videoing. I didn't have my tripod with me. I wasn't planning on shooting this video but I thought if this could be a help to somebody then I should video it just to show them. So you'll see I'm down on the ground. I've just used my cell phone and I had it propped up against something just uh, it was right on the ground in the bark dust but I hope that there's enough information there for you to be able to see how to fix a leaky faucet now there's two leaks one is when the faucet's off and it leaks and the other is with when the faucet is on and it leaks the problem with this one was is that while the faucet was on it was leaking it was leaking drastically out the stem in fact within a minute or two it would fill the bucket that you'll see in this picture um, just from the water coming out around the stem and then also on the very bottom of the faucet there is a valve with a spring and a seal and that's where the uh, release from pressure is after you turn the faucet off it bleeds out if there's any pressure in there so that it won't freeze well I took the that piece off and fixed it and I did not video that portion but there's just a little nut on the bottom you take it out you clean the crud out of there you make sure it's sealing and you uh, screw it back in and that stopped the leak on that one but the um, part about the stem that was leaking every time you turn the faucet on so hang tight and then I'll get started on showing you how to fix that so right there at the stem is where I was just squirting out and filling that bucket in the lower part that's what I uh, cleaned out that had that pressure relief from when you shut the valve off it actually lets the water release so then the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take off, oh, first thing you're gonna do is shut your water off, make sure you've done that, and then you loosen this outer nut, just make sure it's a little loose, and then you wanna uh, take out this other nut because that you know, the whole assembly has to come out. That stem goes back in uh, quite a ways, and there are different length stems, but this one's probably about 14 to 16 inches long. And on the very end, there's a little square deal, and inside of it, there's a washer on the very end of that. That's what you would change if the faucet's leaking when the uh, handle's turned off. So take your um, handle off, and the reason for that is you have to actually unscrew that nut and pull everything off the end of the shaft. That part there, and then there's this part here. That packing is just... Um, cracked and you push it out from the faucet handle side just push it in and it'll push it out through the front side I just got a little screwdriver on the end of my Leatherman pushed it out that packing was pretty pretty uh, wasted so then you use this cord packing it's a Teflon material and it matches together as you put it on there so first thing we're gonna do is put the nut back on that uh, didn't even really need to take that one off and you can see that gasket there if it's bad you'll have to replace it but mine was good and then you just wrap the teflon cord around there and you can just cut this stuff with scissors um, i only put two wraps on it but i assembled it and after i got it together it was still dripping so i pulled it back out and put a third wrap on it uh, so my recommendation is is at least three wraps on that and it'll pack down in there you just shove that down inside the nut and then it'll press against that other uh, screwed type fixture and mash them together and seal it around that shaft so it doesn't leak so you get them snug and then you take your crescent wrenches and I got two different crescent wrenches these are just eight inch crescents and you should be able to get by with eight inch crescents they just open up just barely enough to fit on the big nut A few twists on that and when you feel it starting to get snug you want to you want to get it snug and tighten it up um, pretty good not 
you don't have to be Superman or reef it down, but you want to get a good snug twist on it so that it will uh, squish that packing. After that, then you put it back into the faucet assembly and hand screw it. Oh, a little bark dust on there. So you don't want any of that in there. Cause another leak. But you just tighten it in with your hand and then take your crescent wrench and snug that up again. You don't have to reef on it like your Superman, but you just want a good snug um, fitting or a good snug fit on that. After that, of course, you can put your handle back on and put the screw back in. Again, I apologize for the poor video because I'm holding the camera with one hand and running the screw in with the other. Then I had to go and uh, make sure it's off, and then I went and turned the water back on. After I got the water turned on, I came back and turned the faucet completely on. And there's actually a hose on here with a a nozzle on the end so I let the pressure build up in there and not a single drip comes out either out of the uh, stem or the bottom pressure relief and that's it so it's probably about a two or three dollar fix and you didn't have to pull the faucet out of the wall or anything I hope that was a help to you well I'd like to thank you for watching hope that was some good information for you I'll leave a link down in the description where you can get that Teflon uh, packing material, that cord. Thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Click the bell icon, and then every time I come out with a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks a lot. You have a great day.